Hello and welcome to episode two of Our History. I'm Anne Monceau, the Mayor of the City of Burnside, and in this episode, we'll be exploring a variety of businesses in Burnside that have played a key role in the development of this region over decades and even centuries. It's my great pleasure to bring this episode to you, which will be divided into five mini episodes, with each one focusing on a different business. So come with me now as we discover the stories of these iconic local businesses. Piney's Nursery is an institution on the parade here in Burnside. It is the oldest plant nursery registered in South Australia. The story began in 1869 with Ernst Heine, a botanist and horticulturalist who started the business originally in Sydenham Road, Norwood. And I am today with Michael Heine, who currently runs a business here in Beulah Park, where it's been located since 1928. Tell us a, bit, a little bit more about the history of this place. Well, we started in uh, Rundle Street in 1869. F.W. Heine actually worked in Melbourne for a while. He was a planner. We got some of the original, well, one of the original plans, the Melbourne Botanical Gardens, and up that seed store in Rundle Street. And we have found out recently that we also had a florist there as well, and eventually made his way here. Tell us how you are involved with this nursery. Uh, originally, I actually wanted to be an apprentice chef. Started that for a little while, then realised that wasn't my calling. So I've been brought up here most of my life. So I started working at our wholesale nursery when I was 17. Mm -hmm. And then three years later, uh, moved here and I've been here ever since. And I believe you're fifth generation, Heine? I'm the fifth now and uh, my son works at our wholesale nursery, so he'll be the sixth. It's an amazing site. It's a really large site until you actually come is. in here. From the street, you have no perception of how big it is and how the quality, the quantity of the, the, and the types of plants that you sell here too. Well, you'd remember what it was like when you used to come here. I do. Really, you know, it's probably only one quarter of the size it used to be. Mm. We got 14 staff here at the moment. Right. I mean, when I first started, it was like at 27. Yes, yeah, I remember a lot more people, but the one, the places that I really enjoyed as a child was the fernery where the watered plants are, where you actually went down and yes. underground or you know, below the ground level. Yep. And as kids, we could just barely peer over the top See of the little the walls. walls. Yeah. And don't forget the turtles. You oh, know, yes. Everybody remembers the, the turtles. The turtles, yes. So, um, Wally yeah. Heine used to have yeah. them there yeah. and used to hand feed them for the kids. Yes. And the kids would all fall around. I do remember. Age. You'd come <laughs> out there with yeah. Uh, mince meat, poor turtles. Did you have I don't some know birds how well here at one yeah, stage? Yeah, there was, too, there was you? You had finches and cockatoos. Yeah, yes, yes. And, and yeah. different birds, but all the kids love them. Thanks for watching this mini episode, part of episode two of Our History. My name is Joe, and I'm the Community Engagement Officer for the McGill Village Project. This project is a joint venture with Campbelltown City Council and the City of Burnside. It is state and federal government funded and aims to enhance and rejuvenate the streetscape of McGill Village. These mini episodes highlight several great local businesses throughout the city of Burnside. If you know a local great business which deserves recognition as being community minded, then please nominate them for the City of Burnside Business Awards. Applications close 27th of August. Follow the link below and get nominating. Thanks again for watching this mini episode and I'll see you next time.